So MedWatch Technologies is a Delaware C Corp. I'm sure everybody on this call knows somebody that has diabetes. You may even have diabetes yourself. You know, it, nobody likes to prick their fingers. Um, it, it's painful, it's inconvenient, it's expensive. And, and because nobody likes to prick their fingers, it leads to poor um, health consequences. If you don't monitor your diabetes, it's, it's gonna get out of control. Uh, the main players for continuous glucose monitoring solutions are Dexcom and Freestyle Libre. And those devices last 10 to 14 days, then you throw them away and they can't be repositioned. Uh, they both have needles, a sensor or a filament that's in you all the time. And MedWatch is developing um, our non-invasive solution that's currently in clinical trials. So it's non-invasive, affordable, long-lasting, um, pain-free, as, as you see, convenient, very easy to use. Uh, this device will last a year, but you have to recharge it roughly every two weeks. It's as easy as putting on as a bandage. Uh, as you see the illustration there, uh, the device fits into uh, the insert on the, the adhesive and you, you put it on and it's as simple as that. Uh, and it's paired to, to your app. So in the United States, 37 million people have diabetes, over 100 million have diabetes or prediabetes. Globally, uh, over half a billion people have diabetes alone uh, with uh, diabetes and prediabetes. It, it's well over a billion people. We've got a world-class team. Um, and Sam Zaidspinners, our chief operating officer, he's actually on the call. He will join us in uh, the breakout room. But um, I'd like to point out Dr. Kevin Kapoff and Dr. Jerry Jones, they oversaw Dexcom's G6 clinical trial for Optum. So the team has really deep experience. Uh, I'm happy to tell you more uh, about the team when I, I see you in the breakout room. So it, again, we have a working prototype that's agnostic to skin pigmentation. So uh, whether you're, uh, you're very light skinned or Nubian, uh, it should work for you, no, no problem. So we have a patent that we've licensed uh, and we've licensed the continuations from all that patent, uh, that patent. We have three patents filed We've got well over a hundred patents we've identified in our pipeline and and uh, we're hoping to file at least 50 patents in, in the next year. And we've completed a, a friends and family round of a, a million dollars. So we're currently doing a, a 3 million pre-seed round, which 800,000 of that is in. And we've got commitments for well over a million. In fact, I, I think we'll have data in a, a couple of weeks here and we'll we'll close out that round. We are currently in clinical trials. We have four back-to-back -back trials lined up. We anticipate the trials being complete at the end of February of next year and receiving FDA clearance at the end of next year. Our sales estimates are extremely conservative. Our first year after FDA approval, which is in 2025, we're estimating at 50,000 units. We already have soft commitments for 17,000 units and we've hardly started. Very conservative projections in uh, our year, third year on the market, 2027, uh, 294 million in revenue with a six times multiple, which is extremely conservative. It, we're a $1.7 billion company and an investor that comes in now is looking at potentially a, a 30X return. And uh, I, I anticipate multiples being significantly higher. I've had some M&A folks tell me it should be in excess of 40 or 45 so uh, again, we're, we're raising the capital for our clinical trials. Um, we are in uh, trials, at the four trials, uh, at the last one that will lead to FDA approval or, or clearance. We'll have 160 participants, and I'm happy to go into all those details in the breakout room. And uh, we'll use capital to fund um, uh, operations. And we have our our FDA pre-submission meeting uh, coming up here shortly. A fantastic team. So uh, we anticipate being first to market at the end of 2024. And, and that's a, a fantastic uh, accomplishment being a, a first mover. So I look forward to talking to everybody in the breakout room. Thank you so much for your time.